Hello, welcome to our video on anesthetic considerations in patients with diabetes. Diabetes is a chronic condition that affects the way the body uses and processes glucose, or sugar. This can have an impact on the way anesthesia is administered and how the body responds to it. In this video, we'll be discussing the important considerations that need to be taken into account when providing anesthesia for patients with diabetes. Segment 1. Understanding Diabetes and its Impact on Anesthesia First, it's important to understand the different types of diabetes and how they can affect the body's response to anesthesia. Type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disorder where the body doesn't produce enough insulin, while type 2 diabetes is caused by the body's inability to use insulin effectively. In addition to this, diabetes also increases the risk of complications such as heart disease, stroke, and nerve damage. These complications can affect the way the body responds to anesthesia and increase the risk of complications during surgery. Segment 2. Preoperative considerations. Before a patient with diabetes undergoes a surgical procedure, it's important to have a thorough understanding of their medical history and current glucose control. This includes evaluating the patient's A1C levels, which is a measure of their average blood sugar levels over the past three months. It's also important to work closely with the patient's primary care physician or endocrinologist to ensure that their diabetes is well controlled before the surgery. This is essential to minimize the risk of complications during the procedure. Segment 3. Anesthetic Options When it comes to providing anesthesia for patients with diabetes, there are a few options to consider. General anesthesia, which puts the patient to sleep, is the most common option, but it may not be suitable for all patients with diabetes. For example, patients with uncontrolled diabetes or those with a high risk of complications may be better suited for regional anesthesia, which numbs a specific area of the body. Additionally, it's important to keep in mind that patients with diabetes may have a slower metabolism and clearance of medications, which can affect the duration of anesthesia. Segment 4. Postoperative considerations. After a surgical procedure, it's important to closely monitor the patient's glucose levels and provide appropriate treatment if needed. Patients with diabetes may have a slower recovery time and are at an increased risk of complications such as infection, so it's important to have a thorough follow-up plan in place. In addition, it's important to work closely with the patient's primary care physician or endocrinologist to ensure that their diabetes is well controlled after the surgery. Conclusion Anesthetic considerations in patients with diabetes are an important part of ensuring the safety and comfort of the patient during and after a surgical procedure. By understanding the different types of diabetes and their impact on the body's response to anesthesia, as well as taking preoperative, anesthetic, and postoperative considerations into account, healthcare providers can minimize the risk of complications and ensure the best outcomes. Thanks for watching. 